Welcome to How We Have Met. How is your feeling right now? Um, extremely excited. Um, this is, I mean, this is something I've wanted for a long time to get to this level and to get the opportunity with HOEF is fantastic. I mean, it's one of the biggest clubs in all of Sweden and I think a very exciting place to be right now. Tell us, uh, when did you get the first contact with the club? Um, it happened a little while ago, but uh, really negotiating everything happened very quickly. Um, you know, and, and as soon as I found out that it got to that stage and there was a chance to be a Hoyef player, I jumped at the opportunity. You have uh, been in Sweden and uh, Engenholm for yes. four years. Uh, what do you know about Hoyef? Um, obviously, it's pretty close uh, to where I've, I've been in Engenholm, so I've had a, an eye on Hoyef this whole time. Um, my first year here was the year that uh, Hoyef won the treble, um, so that was very exciting, and you know, there was a lot of uh, excitement and, and joy here with, with HOEF and, and you know I'm really looking forward to help bring that back to this club. What do you think about uh, your time in uh, Engenholm? Yeah it was great. Um, you know I'm very thankful for you know the opportunity that I got with Engelholm to, uh, to play and showcase myself for the next opportunity and uh, you know I'm very thankful to the coaches and all the staff that I worked with there. What type of uh, goalkeeper are you? Aggressive. Um, I'm a strong guy. I like to get off my line and, and uh, attack the ball. Um, so, you know, and, I, and I'm very loud. So uh, the, the fans out there will definitely hear my voice. The competition is, in, is very tough on the goal, goalkeeper positions. Uh, what do you think about your chance? I mean, I think competition is great. I mean, I think if you look at all the top clubs around the world, they always have a great number one and number two goalkeeper, and either of those guys can step in and play. And, you know, my goal is to play. You know, I'm not coming here to sit on the bench, and I'm going to make it as difficult as it is for, uh, for the other goalkeepers to, to get in there. Um, you know, and I know they're going to do the same thing for me. So it's going to be fun, and it's going to be a great relationship, and, you know, it'll be fun. So can you tell us more about uh, Matt uh, off the pitch? Uh, who are you? Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm just a guy who really enjoys life. Um, I grew up right outside Chicago, um, born and raised. So, uh, you know, it's, it's much different than, than where I've been in Engelholm, you know, a much bigger town. So I'm looking forward to getting to a bigger city like, like Helsingborg and enjoying some more of the, uh, you know, the life that it has to offer. So, so uh, what do you think about Helsingborg City? Oh, it's fantastic. Um, obviously, I've been so close and, and been here a few times already, and, and, you know, I love the city. It's a great city, um, from what I understand, friendly people, you know, very passionate fans, um, you know, and I'm really looking forward to getting out there and, and meeting people, shaking some hands, looking them in the eyes, and, and getting to know some of our, uh, you know, very loyal and dedicated fans. So a hard question, uh, have you learned any Swedish uh, <laughs> yet? I can understand a bit, um, but, uh, you know, I'm predominantly speaking English out there, so... Uh, so hopefully uh, the fans can, can understand some of the stuff that I'm barking at the players. But uh, I'll def definitely be picking up more Swedish. I pick up more Swedish every day. My wife is Swedish, so, uh, so that helps. But she gives me a hard time every time I try to speak Swedish. So, uh, <laughs> so she'll appreciate that. <laughs>